All right, what's going on? It's been one week since we laid the top dressing with sand. Let's go ahead and show you guys what everything, how everything looks like. So we're probably at 80, I would say 80, 85% fill up now. It's looking like it's greened up quite a bit. Uh, I still got some areas to work up on to get the, get the sand all leveled out and uh, evened out. This, we got hit with rain the day of that we did the sand leveling. It washed some of the sand out onto the street. So I had to clean that up and broom that back in into the grass. So from what you've seen right now, it's, uh, I've been raking it every day. It's slowly and slowly leveling out. This side of the lawn's gotten quite a bit uh, grown, grown up here. And I cheated a little bit. I did put some, uh, some deaf fluid on here. I did 10 ounces per thousand. Uh, just a few days ago to kind of speed up the growing process so that's what's been going on here so as you can see right here i'm trying to get that to fill in this curb area right here is probably the the hardest part this is where the most heavy sand is and this is uh you can notice that this part's darker sand this is actually from the uh from what i cleaned up on the street so it's a little bit of that old sand and some if you see the, some of the white ones are some of that new sand right there so this area is still trying to fill in right here let's go into the middle so you can see where i got the flags checked out on there's a lot of this side's heavy right here and then this side's also heavy right here so yeah, I've been running uh, irrigation on pretty much every evening and then I've been hand watering as well because uh, my hand watering has got better coverage than it does with the irrigation and some of the, um, the sprinkler heads actually got clogged up so I've got to clean, the, clean out the filters so that I can spray pretty efficiently. But yeah, I imagine uh, probably another week out before we can mow. And I may even wait even another week, maybe give it three weeks. I did go heavy this time because I really wanted everything to get flat as it possibly could. Oh, one thing I need to tell you is actually the sand actually is not as clean as I thought. Look at all these rocks that I found in the sand. So, yeah, I spoke up too soon thinking that this Site 1 masonry sand was a clean, the cleanest sand I've ever used. I'm a bit nervous to actually mow when it comes time because uh, I don't know if that's going to ruin my mower. That's the last thing I want to happen is damage my reel and bed knife. Let me see if I can show you guys where I've been finding. Like here's an example right here. There's, this is a hard piece that's part of the sand. Like here's an example right here of a rock. See that right there? That's what I'm talking about. There's another one right there. See. Yeah, so all these are starting to appear now. So I've got to check these out like pretty much every day as I'm like raking the sand up. But yeah, that's where it's at. Uh, the drone shot will show otherwise. Looking at it from head on, everything looks like it's pretty fairly green up. But um, when you look at it from the drone view, it still shows that there's quite a bit of sand still that's, that's there. So yeah, I think... I think we got about another week, week and a half to go before we, uh, before we mow. And then I've got to make sure I get as much rocks as I possibly can to get out of the lawn. Because I definitely do not want to be hitting that with my real mower for sure. That's the last thing I want to happen. But yeah, we'll check back in in a few days and see how it goes. It is Sunday, June 16th. It's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. 
I'm pretty sure some of you guys managed to mow your lawns today, but not me. I'm not quite there yet. So waiting for my sand to fill up on my lawn, even though it's been uh, 14 days, I did put a lot of heavy sand in a lot of areas. So it is taking me a little bit longer. We're probably at, I want to say 90% uh, filled in now. Still got a few spots that uh, aren't quite there yet. Sedges have been popping up, unfortunately, something I've got to deal with uh, so many times this year. This will be the third time this year that I need a spray for sedges. And it's just a constant battle. Every time it rains, we get a good amount of rain, they were popping right back up. I was thinking this, start, this side here was going to fill up a little bit more, but uh, most likely not. I don't think we're getting enough sunlight on this area, so I gotta figure out what to do. Um, when I mow, I will try to mow some of these little grass areas here so that the grass can spread, but we'll have to see. I do, definitely do not want to mow with sand. And this spot here is super thick. This is like three, four inches of sand right here. So this is gonna take a a really long time. I actually don't anticipate this filling in by July 4th. That's gonna go beyond July, first week of July for sure. But uh, should be giving it a mow, but I'm not gonna do it today. Um, it's already late. This is the evening time. This is, uh, we're approaching 8 p.m. now, so not gonna happen today. Uh, I am noticing some Bermuda mite damage coming back. So it, it is time to lay down Delta Guard G. Let me show you guys, uh, I'll find a few here, here, here's, here's some. So there's one there, see that? Some of these here. Let me see if I can find a really stunt grass. Here's one right here. Check that out. Yeah, so it's time to lay down the Delta Guard G. And I don't know if I'm really having much success with it, honestly, but maybe I'm not putting enough of it. So what my plan is, um, I've got two bags of Delta Guard G. Uh, I just happened to end up with two bags. I was supposed to order one, but I ended up with two. And I'm going to lay it down at two pounds per thousand square foot, but I'm going to do it every seven days. So I'm going to do it every week. So today being Sunday, I'm going to lay it down uh, at two pounds per thousand. So it'll be coming about 5,000 square foot, which um, will not be including that end. That side doesn't have any Bermuda mite damage. Center lawn, this L-shaped lawn here, and then uh, obviously that side right there. And then next Sunday, I'll be doing it again. And I'm going to do it for four weeks. I'm going to be laying two pounds per thousand every, every seven days. So every week on Sunday, I'm going to lay it down. And then I'm going to see if that improves anything. And if not, I'm going to give up on the product and order Contos. Contos is super expensive. It's a $250 product that you would only use two times and it'd be sitting in your garage <laughs> for the remaining of its life given that it does take care of the Bermuda mice permanently so yeah we'll see I'm gonna give Delta Guard G another chance and I'm um, gonna apply it heavily at a frequency of every week and find out if uh, it does take care of it or not um, it is time for Turf Flex and Nutrizolve as well uh, I think I need to give it a mow before I lay that stuff down. So uh, that, the goal is to probably mow tomorrow morning or evening. I'll probably, I'll wait and see. I'm going to lay Delta Guard G down tonight, water it in, and perhaps mow tomorrow evening. And then do the Turfplex and Nutrizolve. So we'll just uh, wait till tomorrow. But uh, I'm going to raise the height of cut up to 0.8 definitely do not want to take it down to my preferred how to cut yet as I had shown you guys in another video we I found a lot of rocks in the uh, in the sand so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna take it up to 0.8 see how it goes um, see if I can clean it up a bit more get some of the rocks out if I run into any and then I'll take it down to where my preferred how to cut and I'm thinking of maybe 0.7 for the remaining of the year. Uh, I initially was going to do 0.6 or actually half an inch, but I don't think I have time for it. So I'm going to do a 0.7. And once everything gets all filled in, I'll do PGR. 
get it get it back on the PGR track and we'll see how everything looks. But yeah, Delta Guard G tonight and then uh, Mo tomorrow. That's the plan. And then Turflex and Nutrizolve. done after several hours let's take a look color is actually looking really great at a uh, 0.8 inches height of cut i actually like it a bit too tall for my taste so i do want to bring it down lower but as i said uh i only cut it this high to avoid the rocks not come across any uh they could be possibly embedded into the sand now and then since the blades are a lot higher i believe uh i'm probably just running right over them and pushing them into the sand so yeah, I think I might have avoided the, the stones, if any. Check out the stripes. The stripes are standing out a lot more due to the uh, height of cut. It's pretty good. The color looks great. I just sprayed uh, Turflex Nutrizol, so I'm done until the end of the month. Once I do my granulars again. And I'm hoping I did not cut off the Delta Guard G. That I laid last night. I can only hope that uh, I watered it in good enough to where my mowing this morning did not impact any of it. But I will be doing it again next week, or actually this Sunday. So we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, look at these sedges. They're popping up now. I gotta get those taken care of. I gotta do a spot spray again. I don't know. I there's not enough for me to do a blanket spray. And you know how it is, I hate, I hate spot spraying, but uh, maybe uh, maybe I can get through it. It's not something I'm really looking forward to. 
this side's still trying to fill in. I only mowed close to the uh, driveway and then the rest I did with rotary scissors. The side over here, a lot more flat than before. There's a little weird ridge line uh, developing right here from the gutter this way. I don't know if that was intentionally done when I was sand leveling or it just ended up happening from when, the, uh, when we were getting some rain. So not quite flat like how I wanted and how I anticipated it, but um, we shall see. Just gotta keep mowing it and let the grass grow some more. Remember, uh, the goal is to get to PGR. I did, I did do PGR in uh, end of April and May, but I cut that off once uh, we started doing this uh, top dressing stuff. I want the grass to grow back quickly. So, um, yeah, we need to get this to go ahead and fill in. Then we can apply the PGR. So, still got some ways on this end. This is kind of shaded throughout the day. So, still got some of that to fill in. But yeah, color looks great. This is amazing. Way better than last year for sure. I like it. Center lawn, I'm not too sure if it's actually flat, flat, like how I wanted it. Uh, I feel like those areas where I had put heavy sand has now become the risen areas. So now they're like the bumps of the, of the yard. But if I were to just go straight on, look at the stripes, if the stripes look fairly straight and not have like any undulations in them, then I would say the lawn's pretty flat. And from camera view, it does look that way. So, it's a much better, it's a much better improvement, that's for sure. I think once everything fills in, we'll probably get a better assessment on how flat this, uh, this part of the lawn is. But we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed the project. And... I'll keep you guys updated on all this, all the stuff that I do here. I'll just wait for the grass to grow in first, and then we'll maintain it at probably 0.7. I think I'm gonna do 0.7. So I'm just gonna take a, a tenth of an inch lower and keep it that way for the rest of the season. And then you can get a lot more uh, stripe action too with that height of cut. Let's check the check the stripes right here. You can't really see them. It's the way the angle of the sun. But I see it with my eyes. But yeah, things are looking good. I'll keep mowing. I'll probably do another mow this weekend. All right, guys, stay tuned. More to come. 2024 lawn transformation. Appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And watch me dominate for 2024. All right, peace out, guys.